Hey guys, what's going on? Commander Carbon here, and today I'm going to be talking about the leaning and mantling features that Infinity Ward added into Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, everyone thought there was going to be some kind of button combination that you press or something like that to initiate the lean or the different types of mantles there are, and that's not the case. Um, I'm going to let Mark Rubin explain how it's all done and how everything works in a video that I'm going to show you guys. He's going to do a lot better job than I will, so this is it, guys. Enjoy the video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. One of the things that surprised me about the, the reveal of Call of Duty Ghosts was uh, the addition of leaning, because that seems like a kind of <laughs> fundamental change to how Call of Duty handles. I was wondering, how, first of all, how is it implemented? I mean, we're talk, talking kind of sure. Connect 2.0 leaning, and also, <laughs> um, how's that going to affect how awesome. people play? I'm going to actually go back a little bit and give you a little bit more story to that. Um, what is it that, you know, when we look at Call of Duty, one of the things that makes it so popular is the controls, right? And everybody talks about it. It's the controls, the 60 frames a second. Uh, it's, but it's more than that. It's also the latency in the controls. And we have special devices actually at work to, um, to measure that latency, to make sure that our button latency is always, you know, as low as it pot we can possibly get it. So there's this whole package of what uh, of what it means when, when we say 60 frames a second or whatever. So it's it, it really is all about that feel. And when we were looking at uh, at our at MW3 and previous games, we realized there was a, a sort of a, a a place we were missing out on, and that's uh, first person animations. So, uh, for instance, when you uh, run at a wall in uh, Modern Warfare 3 or you know, Black Ops 2 or any, any of the Call of Duty games, you run up to the wall and then you mantle over like that, you know, and it, it really does take you out of that feeling that you get when you're running around in the world. So we put uh, a whole new system in that um, basically for now, when you mantle up something, you're, you're gonna run at it, you're gonna hit the mantle button in some point here, and you'll just, you'll just sort of flow over that wall. You'll, 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 you'll either uh, hand plant or you'll do something else, but it'll, you won't lose momentum. You'll feel like you're really kind of running through the level. And actually, on a lot of it, you can still fire your weapon while you're mantling over. So it really adds a new feel to the game as a whole, everywhere. Multiplayer, single player is gonna feel physically different. Uh, and lean in the same way. There's no lean button, for instance. There's no lean button, per se. What happens is you go up to a wall and it's all contextual. So you go up to some wall or even maybe like a crate or something and uh, you're just pointed at the at sort of at the edge of the wall, you ADS up and that causes you to lean so you get the right view. And the, the game is handling it to make it as smooth and, and natural feeling as possible so you don't have to try to play like a platform game where you have to hit the jump at right the right you know the right time. You, you're, it's, it feels good and feels natural and happens naturally. So um, it's one of my favorite features, and it, may, it really does make the game feel a lot different. When you go up to a wall and you're basically have to be close to it, and you ADS, you will lean out, and it'll feel natural because otherwise you're staring at a wall. Yeah. Uh, so it, 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 we did, a, I think, a really good job on on that that system. 